Yo, what up, what up? This is your boy King Series, straight from Busy Home Beats. Yep, and in today's video, I'm just going to show you how to set up your audio input and output in Keybase 5 here. So, without wasting my time, let's just get into the video. So, you know, sometimes you open up your Cubase like this and um, you don't hear any uh, audio coming out from your DAW. You get it? Um, you put your beat or you play a beat there, then you just want to hear it playing through your speakers or your headphones or anything and it is not happening um there are certain that you have to go through and maybe you set up your mic too and you want to hear your vocals you want to record your vocals but when you press record um your DAW doesn't record anything you see it recording but there's no wave form i uh, showing there in your DAW which is here uh, this cube is five over here so i'm just going to show you how to set up everything so that if you are finding it difficult in doing that everything will be okay for you there okay so what you have to do first is um you move to devices over here then you just come to device setup you get it and if you are using sound card if you are using sound card uh, make sure your sound card drivers is uh, actually installed on your computer you get it uh, so if you are using sound card and your sound card is actually installed on your computer if you come to devices then you move to device setup um, then you move to this side uh, as your driver then you, you search for the drivers that you have installed you get it so for me i'm using focus right so there's the driver that i'm going to select so i'll select this one um, then i'll just say switch but if you are not using sound card um, then you have to use the default drivers, which is um, this ASIO Directors for Dapless Driver, ASIO for all, V2 and FL Studio ASIO. Yes, these are the default ones that you can actually, and I mean, generic this one. All these four are the default ones that you can select. So you just choose one of your own choice. But for me, what I recommend for you is you choose the ASIO for all um, because it works better if you don't have a sound card, it works better. You get correct and nice sound sound from it you get it okay so you just have to select the uh, driver that you are using so i'll select this one then after selecting it you just have to move to click on ok yes and sometimes after doing that you might think everything is set or not but when you still play your audio you still can't hear anything or when you record the cubase doesn't take um your input uh, your input you get it so what you have to do is you just have to come to devices again after setting up your uh, drivers and everything then you move to vst connections you get it then you come to your input and your output settings so for your input that is where you are going to record or input any audio into your daw that's where you can you just come to input then maybe this might be at not connected not connected you get it so you have to select the input one and input two and for your information maybe your own might not be input one or input two based on the drivers that you are using it might be in one and in two or any other name but make sure you choose those names aside not connected you get it yes aside not connected so then there's for the input then you just move to your output then output you do the same as you did for the input you get it the same so if it's like this then you just have to select the input one and output two a hey, output one and output two yes so after setting this you just have to just close it and when you play your audio it's going to come and when you try to record anything when you try to record whether guitar vocals or anything is going to record for you like this so if let's say this thing has not been set the input has not been set let me just disconnect it and record something for you so you can see i'm actually talking to you guys but nothing is actually recording here it's empty so that's what you actually need to do so if you set up this set up this thing then you record everything is going to record for you so that's that for today and in our next video i'm going to show you how to record vocals yes how to record vocals so that um, you know when it comes to mixing your foundation matters the most so how you record your vocals will help you know how to mix better clearly and sound well you get it if your vocals are not actually recorded well it's very uh, hard it's very hard for you to get a very nice and clean um, 
mix you get it okay so that's that for today if you like my video you like whatever i'm doing on this channel make sure you subscribe to support your boy like and also comment to this video and i guess your time was never wasted it's your boy king series and i'm out